Hi everyone, let me quickly show you how we perform verifications as part of automated test case execution. To do that, let me switch to Studio Pro, our essential designer component of the UiPath test suite, our most advanced IDE for automation here at UiPath. And let me go to my project called the UiPath Banking App, and let me expand this note here, UiBank Web. Now, when I do this, you can see I already created a couple of web automations, and each web automation is representing an automated test case here. Now let's focus on this one here called Standard Loan. Now whenever we create an automated test case here internally at UiPath, we like to follow the following structure. So we always provide a given part in our test case. And in that given part, we, for example, describe our preconditions. So here we describe how we launch and uh, configure applications, for example, how we set up our environment. And here we also describe how we create test data that is then being consumed by test case execution. In the rent section, we describe the purpose of this test case. So in that case, we create a loan quote in our web application of the UiPath banking application. And in the then section, we describe our post conditions. So here we describe how we, for example, close applications, how we clean up environments to free memory. And most importantly, here we make our verifications, such as in that case, we verify the loan rate. So now let me show you what you can do in order to make those verifications. Now, if you go to the activities panel here in Studio Pro and you search for testing, for example, then under the testing node, you find a verification node. And if you expand this node, you find free verification activities. Now let's go through them step by step so that you get at least an idea what these verification activities are about. Let's start with this one here, verify expression. So it, we can just drop it in, expand it. It's a very simple one. You can say you want a verify expression like this one. One is one, a very simple one. Now the next one is verify expression with operator. Let's take a look at this, expand it. So here you can say, well, you want to verify in general that a left-hand side is equal, for example, to a right-hand side. And here you have a couple of operators ready in order to do that faster. So that's the verify expression activity, and that's the verify expression with operate activity. And the next one is the so-called verify control attribute activity. And that's my favorite one, by the way. So let's drop this one in, and let's expand it, and let's see how it looks like. Now, as you can see, you can drop any other activity onto this so-called verify control attribute activity. And this is exactly what I did here in the example below. So this is the verify control attribute activity. And what I did is I just dropped a get text activity onto that verify control attribute activity. And the reason why I did that is because I want to get the text of a certain UI control in my web application at the case. And then I want to verify the value that is given back by the application against a certain variable called loan rate. So now let's see what happens when we execute that. To do that, let me first of all get rid of these placeholder activities here. Now let's run this test case. To do that, let's first of all reset the filter. Let's go back to the project so that you always see where I am in my project. Now let's run this test case. All we need to do is we need to click on run. What then happens, Studio minimizes, the robot launches, as you can see it in the taskbar. Then we launch our web application. It's called the UI Bank. We click on loans, apply for a loan. Then we enter our email address, a loan amount, a loan term, a yearly income, and an age. Then we click on submit, and then we verify the loan rate on this page. And that was simply too fast for me. Now, in the output panel of this test case here, you can see in that case the verification passed because the loan rate that was given back by the application was exactly the one we expected. So now let's see what happens when a verification fails. So to do that, let's cheat a little bit and let's uh, alter here the arguments of this test case here. Now let's say, well, I do not expect a loan rate of 8%. I expect a loan rate of 12, for example. Now let's collapse that and let's run this test case again to see what happens. Now again, click on run file, the robot then launches and the same basically happens as before, but now we make the test case fail. And then I want to show you in Studio Pro how that basically looks like. So we enter the same email address, the same loan amount, the loan term, the yield income, the age. We click on submit and then we verify here. This loan rate takes a little bit longer. Oh, as you can see, the verification here failed. 
because the value that was given back by the application was not the one we expected. Now this is how it looks like when a verification failed. And that's the short story about the verification activities that are available for you right now in Studio Pro.